Hey, and welcome back to another episode. So tonight I'm drinking some Cooper Craft. It's 100 proof Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. It's a brown form and product. It's pretty good. I like it. It's fairly inexpensive. For that price, it's hard to beat. It's really, it's it's worth worth a try if you haven't had it before. So in this video, we're gonna be kicking off a actual series of videos uh, on this topic. I've bought some stuff and it's gonna take me a while for the project to kind of to kind of mature. I've kind of alluded in some of the previous videos to having collected extra bottles for a future project. And I think some of you have in comments have even said, I think I know what you're doing. We're gonna actually kick that off today because everything that I need for the project is actually here and we can start it. So what I've done is I've ordered three white oak barrels. They're charred on the inside with a number three char. They hold three liters each and currently they're filled with water. So when I got them, I got them opened up, followed the instructions, uh, I had to rinse them out with hot water, and then I put water in them for 48 hours. Uh, and the 48 hours uh, of soaking in the water has allowed them to swell a little bit for the seams and stuff to kind of close up. None of them leaked, but one of them had a little bit of moisture on the underside at first, but that has since cleared up. Uh, you can see some water discolorations a little bit on the barrels. So why did I buy these? So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be taking three different bourbons, putting them into these barrels and aging them. The purpose of this is to see if over time I can actually get some better flavors out of seeing some of these budget bourbons. So the bourbons I'm gonna be using, uh, one is uh, Ancient Age uh, 10 Star. This is a uh, Buffalo Trace, mash bill number two, I believe, product. And then we've got a Buffalo Trace, which is mash bill number one from Buffalo Trace. And then also Very Old Barton, which is a Bardstown distillery product. Uh, this is the 86 proof one. They're all pretty good. None of these are like garbage. These all you can drink neat in a glass and enjoy them. You may not care for the flavor as much. Like I don't love Buffalo Trace. Ancient Age is okay. Barton I like actually decently. It's kind of an interesting project. So I'm gonna see if this actually works. I've heard of some people doing this and they, they really seem to liked the results. I've, I've read other people's where it completely evaporated away and it leaked out. You know, there's horror stories as well. So had to try it. Uh, I spent about $50 for each of these and that included shipping. I think the, the barrels were about 40 and then it cost the shipping to get them all here. Uh, each barrel came with a, a bung plug and a spigot. They had different uh, options of whether to lacquer the uh, the outside of it. I chose unlacquered to make sure that they could breathe naturally like it would in a rick house. So these have been sitting for almost 48 hours. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these, I'm gonna go dump all the water out, drain them out good. When I rinsed it, it should have removed any loose pieces of charcoal, and it, it did. I had did to see some black flecks in some of the water when I rinsed it out. So I have multiple bottles of this, multiple of that and that. So I've got four liters of each of these. We're gonna basically fill them and we're gonna start a clock and we're gonna age them. The idea being that we're gonna see what one month does. What does two months do? What does three months do? We're gonna pull a little bit out, we're gonna sample it. We're gonna see if it enhances the flavor, if it's done nothing. And, uh, and then at the end, we're gonna track how much product is actually left after evaporation and what the flavor does to it. If these turn out to be good, you know I'm gonna to try to share it with y'all. I'm really excited to, to, for this experiment to start. I'm gonna take each of these up to the kitchen. I'm gonna drain them out good and then we'll get started. So, we drain the barrels. We're back down in the speakeasy. Now it's time to fill them. Getting spill out the top. So I've overfilled it and I've got a funnel full. I just got it everywhere. Oh yeah, we're completely full. All right, so we're good on the very old Barton. Very old Barton 86. We used one and two thirds of a uh, 1.75. Get that in there nice and tight. I probably lost maybe three, four ounces, if not a hair more, all over my hands and the table. But I have a feeling we're gonna lose a lot more in this process, so I guess we'll see. I'm kind of gonna shove it in there a little bit. But it makes a little air gap, so that kind of helps, I guess. Okay. 
Yeah, what's up? Um, can, um, yeah, what's up? <sighs> Being a dad never ends. <laughs> I love it though. All right, let's try not to overfill it this time. As you could tell, the uh, this 1.75 Ancient Ancient was actually opened already. Uh, about that much was out of it. And it had been open for, I don't know, maybe a month. Maybe two. I don't know, something like that. Maybe a hair longer. Yeah, I'm going to have to open up another one. Ooh, I'm getting close. There we go. We're going on that one. Plug. So the Ancient Ancient uh, Age 10 star is now filled. Lost a little bit of the top, maybe an ounce, not very much. So we're good there. Now it's time for the Buffalo Trace. So this is gonna take the 1.75 and two 750s, I think. There's no easy handle on this bottle. Losing some out the bottom of the, the funnels leaking out the side. And then I just poured more on the side of the bottle. <laughs> uh, experiments are fun. This giant Buffalo Trace bottle is awesome. I, I think that's just a really cool looking bottle. I've always liked the just the clean Buffalo Trace bottles, but this big giant one is, is pretty cool. I'll have to keep that one around. All right, let's get some more Buffalo Trace. So I have this Buffalo Trace that's opened and it's got just the teeniest little bit out. So we're gonna go ahead and use this up before I open a new bottle just to, because I can. I think when I entered the video, I said uh, tonight we're gonna be, cause that's just habit. Uh, it's actually like midday right now. I started drinking a little early today. It's a, uh, it's not a holiday, but today's inauguration day. My work is essentially shut down today due to the inauguration here, being here, uh, working out of DC uh, for safety reasons with the protests and everything else, they shut down my job. So today is a forced day off with no pay. So drinking early was A-OK. -okay. So this should, about halfway through this bottle, we should be done. Well, more than halfway. So we lost on this one, we lost maybe another half ounce out the top, or another ounce out the top like we did on this one. This one we lost a lot on, it was a messy. So let's plug this bung hole. Now, we've got three filled uh, barrels. Each one has uh, three liters of spirit in them. Uh, I'm gonna go get a Sharpie upstairs uh, after I'm done filming and mark them, but this is the uh, very old Barton. This is the uh, Ancient Ancient Age 10 star, and this is the Buffalo Trace. I really hope this works out. So uh, basically what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna totally leave them alone for one month. So today's inauguration day, so it's the 20th. So on February 20th, I'm gonna come and I'm gonna pull a two ounce pour out of each of these, and I'm gonna taste them, and I'm gonna taste them side by side with something directly out of the bottle uh, to see if anything's changed. Can I tell a difference between the two? Then we're gonna leave them. We're gonna do it by, uh, wait another month, and then we're gonna, we're gonna go from there. I'm going to go weigh these. Uh, I've got a scale upstairs, so I'm gonna grab the scale, bring it downstairs when I grab the Sharpie. Hopefully we can kind of track how much loss we're getting from the liquid and how empty they're getting over time. And basically every month we're gonna pull out two ounces. Once we get to a point where from one month to the next, the taste declines, We'll probably stop the experiment at that point. We'll barrel or we'll uh, bottle up what we got left. Call the experiment good. Uh, the barrels, once we're done, I don't know what I'll do with them. The instructions said that for whiskey, you can use them probably three or four times to get benefit out of them. Maybe I can reuse them for another experiment at some point. Don't know yet, we'll find out. So if you like the video, please uh, give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, and until next time, find a bottle you love.